earlier today, I was going through my game library. I was like, wait a minute. Madden 25, aka Madden 14. I still have my ultimate team sitting inside just waiting to be played. So today we're going to throw it back and check out my Madden 14, aka Madden 25 ultimate team. And here it is, straight 99s, except for a few of the players. Man, I got excited seeing this team. I mean, the stats on the back of the cards were absolutely ridiculous. And sometimes when you go back to old games, it's kind of refreshing. I mean, I completely forgot about the fact that I had ultimate legend Jerry Rice. Imagine this card right now in Madden 16. We also had the draft edition Johnny Manziel, again 99 overall. There's only a few players that we had that weren't 99. Randy Moss amongst other legends at the wide receiver spot. He had 99 speed, 100 spectacular catch, 98 release. And again, after seeing these cards, I'm just thinking, what if we had these players right now, Madden 16? The defense was stellar as well. And the secondary, led by Deion Sanders, Richard Sherman, Charles Woodson. We had Sean Taylor and Troy Palomalu as the safeties. Again, 99 speed, 98 agility. You guys know we have to play a game online and Sean Taylor comes out with a bang. I feel like the hitting, the tackling in this year's Madden was ridiculous. We saw a lot of big hits that I still haven't really seen in the new Madden. Barry Sanders gets the first touchdown of the day. We move forward now and I kind of made a mistake right there. Kind of brought up Shante a little too close, so Calvin Johnson beat us on the play. Moving forward now, he threw it straight into the hands of my linebacker, Derek Thomas. A wide open field ahead of him, so you know what we're about to say. Bring out the red carpet, the game's second touchdown. Drew Brees, let's see how he's going to respond here. Third and 10. Once again, the blitz was there, so he threw it to the wrong jersey again I don't blame a man that he was almost there again Ray Lewis with the interception moments later the game got paused your peer has quit the game you guys are probably wondering are the packs still available well there were bundles available I got the 38 pack bundle and with it it came with a bundle topper of guaranteed elite you get two elite players and this isn't like a promo going on right now this is how it usually was when you get a 38 pack bundle you get a bundle top of elite players. So, I'm going to show you guys some of the cards that I got out of these packs. We get a rookie legend, 80 overall. Those were definitely annoying to get. Moving forward, we get a Kirk Cousins. He was a 71 overall silver. This is kind of exciting, man. Seeing what some players that are good now, what they used to be in older Maddens. Look at this. This is a prime example of what I was talking about. Tyron Matthew being a 71 bronze. Like, what? Jacoby Jones as well. That's a Ravens edition. That's when they went to the Super Bowl and beat the San Francisco 49ers. Moving forward now, another pro pack. We get a Michael Vick. He was a 78 overall. This is back when he used to play for the Philadelphia Eagles. A Dan Connor Gold and a Gerald McCoy rookie edition as well. So I'm not going to lie. These packs were actually really, really good. We reveal all here. We get a D'Amico Ryans. That's a purple edition, and no, that's not futures edition. That's the playoff edition, okay? Let's get things straight. A Malcolm Smith here, football outsider. So that's what the football outsider cards used to look like. I kind of forgot, so this is kind of like refreshing my memory. A London Fletcher. Man, I actually missed having London Fletcher on our team. A Demarius Thomas here, a playoff edition. And right now, from the looks of it, the Broncos are advancing, and it looks like the Panthers are going to be joining them in the Super Bowl. Probably going to be one of the most viewed Super Bowl of all time. And here you have it, another D'Amico Ryans. This was a Team of the Week edition. So like I said, the bundle topper, it does guarantee two elite players. And we get a Deshaun Goldson, who's on our team right now, the Washington Redskins, and a Cameron Jordan. So we got two defensive players. No one on offense, but I would definitely take these two players. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, 
Like, I don't know if I'm going to play this game anymore, but hey, we'll take it. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys two more gameplay handoff here to Barry Sanders, the ultimate legend. And man, oh man, I do not even blame my opponent. I don't even know if I could stop that car. We quickly went up on the scoreboard, 7 to nothing. He takes over now and he threw it straight into my hands and used an interception with the robot arm, Ray Lewis. Once again, he's dropping all the way back again. I kind of baited him into throwing that, and Ray Lewis hits a second interception of the day, and it's only the first half. So, once the game got paused, I kind of have a hint of what was about to happen, and your peer has quit the game. So, I'm not going to leave you guys hanging there. We're going to go ahead and do one more gameplay to England end off this, this throwback Madden edition of Ultimate Team. Rise up and make the Johnny Manziel finds and Vernon Davis. Percent. Vernon just short. We're at the one yard line. And you know what I'm about to do? Hand it off to Barry Sanders. Your first touchdown of the day. You gotta get the off. Oh, he has Terman Thomas. He has Cam Newen. His first play, he is gonna go with a handoff to Thomas. And Ray Lewis was all over that play. Two plays later, Prime Tom Sanders gets involved. His interception is returned for a touchdown pick six. Only is the offense killing it, but the defense is outdoing them. I pointed right here, almost had a catch, but Troy Palomalu, what a big hit that was. Reggie White, moments later, brings down Cam Newton, who has struggled all day long. 14 and nothing now. We go to Jerry Rice, who breaks a few tackles. He does a hurdle and goes out of bounds moments later at the goal line first and goal johnny menzel what a beautiful touch pass to brian finner and his first catch of the video i don't know i don't know if we saw any other catches from him we're in the second half now he goes to thomas thomas does a juke move and he gets brought down by sean taylor three rushes 19 yards for thomas i thought he was gonna go right back to him here that is why i brought an all-out blitz but my opponent right there tricked me, and that is how he goes up on the scoreboard. So 21 to 7, Menzel dropping back, finding Vernon Davis, and it took two defenders to bring him down. We go to Barry Sanders now. He cuts to the outside. Sanders shows off his speed, picks up about 12 yards. First and 10. Two minutes remaining, and look at that beauty by Johnny Menzel. He placed it right where it needed to be. This game is almost over. We just got to see what my opponent is about to do here. He goes to Thomas, and Thomas stumbles his way out of bounds for first down. At the 46-yard line, once again, Ray Lewis with the finisher. Now all we need to do is take over, get a few first downs. This game is going to be over. Going to go to play action. I think he thought we brought a run. Johnny. Game is kind of lagging. We finally get rid of the ball, and it's Barry Sanders with the reception. Sanders still on his feet, and he finally gets brought down here. What a play right there. And moments later, I was like, you know what? I've had enough. Let's have a good sportsmanship and kneel the ball down. So we threw it back to Madden 25 Ultimate Team. That is what our squad used to be. I don't know, man. If you guys enjoy this, maybe I'll do more in the future. Check out Deion Sanders stats. I'm out, Boss Nation. In play, instead of just the third ball, that ball has been picked up. It's past the first wave. 